We're done swimming with the turtles in Tobago Keys. That's the Palm Island, and now we're going to Union Island. Ah! Ah! See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Princess and I'm a lounge singer. I'm Jamie and I fly aeroplanes. We decided to take a year off and go sailing. But thanks to COVID, now we spend our life on Jupiter. Welcome aboard and join us on our circumnavigation. just come through really got to watch for uh, dragging here very small harbor anchor seems to be holding okay so we can eat this is our new favorite meal cabbage bacon Egg and avocado. Thank you, baby. These storms were becoming more and more frequent, which made for demanding sailing because in between the storms, the winds were light and variable. On the west side of Union Island is the beautiful Chatham Bay, where there looked to be a lovely resort, but of course, closed down due to COVID. Oh. Yep, uh, just here. Into the beach, touch the rocks, let's go back. Only halfway, you know. I'm getting burned. Can we go faster this time? Doing a couple of 
little upgrades on the electrical system. My alternators, we had one of them rebuilt in Grenada just with the blown diodes after the uh, Indian Ocean, sorry, the Atlantic Ocean crossing. Um, and it's putting out a heap of power now. Um, that's that side. This side is not quite as good, but it's still a lot. When I first built this boat, I had double battery cables running from the alternators to the battery. And I thought, ah, it's overkill, you know. But now we're putting up to 200 amps through, the, through these wires into the batteries. And um, they're getting a bit warm. So today we bought some, this is number four, AWG cable. And I'm just going to supplement the uh, larger, which I think is uh, a one, AWG one cable to the battery. Just to share the load. Come and have a look. So, this is the uh, the single cable running to the batteries. These two, one from each engine. So they're fine, they're sized, no problems at all. But yeah, this one needs assistance because it's getting hot. Obviously the black one as well, the negative as well. So we have to run two new cables through the raceway, which goes under the bridge deck. So I've got uh, a pull, a pull uh, rope already uh, installed that lives in there. And the raceway is getting pretty full, or at least the opening down here is getting pretty full. So it's going to be a little bit of a struggle. So I've got some soapy water. We're going to pump into the raceway as well, and also wet wet the wire as it goes through. So it's uh, slippery. Let's see how we go. Just can't win with these switches. I decided I wanted to float the earth on the aluminium cat, which is preferable to reduce the risk of electrolysis. So I wanted to put the battery switches back in so I can have power turned off to the engines when we're not using them. And that's one of the biggest sources is the engine uh, power for electrolysis. So I just wanted to remove that risk. These are brand new switches. I've had them since we built the boat, I've just never used them. Before this, we had the four pole switch, so it would turn off uh, the two positives and two negatives. It overheated with just 150 amps going through. Uh, over time, it overheated. And I figured that if I have two separate switches, then their heat is not gonna multiply within the switch, so I thought it'll halve the heat. We just ran the engine now for maybe 15 minutes. Smoke, overheating battery cables. This switch has got to come out again. So as you can see, everything's nice and shiny clean back here, but the resistance through this switch is massive and causes heating and melting and failure. Lucky we caught it this time before it smoked up even worse. <clears throat> that is a good connection. Just not easy to turn on and off. That sucks, doesn't it? Gotta come up with something better. 
Now let's take this puppy apart and see what's inside. Anyway, let's open it up and I've removed these screws basically already. Let's just have a look at the damage the these. We did have yesterday we had about 160 amps going in. Uh, but it says here rated at two and a half thousand amps uh, intermittent or 600 amps continuous. Um. <laughs> Just melted and welded. Crazy. You can see where this plate has got so hot and it's just melted into the plastic. Let's see if we can remove this plate and there we go. Look at that. So the plastic's actually melted over the stud, so there was huge resistance there, which just made it get hotter. That's the stud under the plastic. Uh, so there's another 80 bucks in the bin. So after exploring the most southern parts of the Grenadines, we turned around and headed back north. But the weather was starting to change. It's always so exciting when dolphins decide to play with us. But maybe these guys were trying to tell us something. What we can do. We just got a a gust 36 knots or so all of a sudden with our full full sails up. So we just ease the main and ease the head till now and just, it'll pass. It's already back to 24 knots, sort of, sometimes. Just got to try and not break anything.
we're sitting on about 32 knots now, 35 just. But uh, we've got two reefs in the main and the jib's half half put away. So we're the rig is in better shape now. It did get caught out there though. I don't think any damage. And just like that, it was all over. But it certainly gave my poor girl a bit of a fright. Saline Bay on Meru in the Grenadines. Yesterday was a bit of a wild day, wasn't it? We had thunderstorms all day. This bay is good, this is big and good holding. And we're going to go shopping shortly, try and find some food. We're getting low. And we had. Oh, yeah, so the. This story yesterday. <laughs> the highlight of Salt Whistle care. Bay is. You get visitors at night time. Bats come inside. And anyway, we're sitting here because it's not far away, it's just up there. And we had our, our first bat flying around inside last night. <laughs> it freaks me out. <laughs> he investigated everywhere. He went down both hulls, up yeah. and down. Lucky you know how they find fruit. Yeah, well, the, they're looking the for fruit, I guess. So. Um, we don't have any, <laughs> except in the tin. We just turned off the lights inside and turned this cockpit light on, and within about 30 seconds he came out. Yeah. So. Great. We found the trick. <laughs> Can you see that? Beautiful. I mean, the sun is well set, but and it's a cloudy, cloudy day, but it's an amazing colour. Join us next week on Life on Jupiter as we visit the beautiful island of Beckway. We spend some time in the floating bar and we do some diving below the moon hole.